Last month, I met Enriqueta in La Graciosa in the Canary Islands. I stayed at her guest house and I ate every single day at her restaurant. She showed me all over her island. It's one of the most beautiful and most remote in the Canary Islands. She's one of the few people that lives there and has called it her home her entire life. Sunset on La Graciosa. With Enriqueta. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> A crew from eDreams Odigio came along to film my meeting with Enriqueta. Here. With the crew. For eDreams. We had so much fun filming on La Graciosa, and everybody there all became friends. This island is such a unique place. There are less than a thousand residents, and they've all chosen to conserve nearly the entire island as a national park. There's no paved roads, and there's only two little settlements. And though it's small, there are quite varied landscapes. They have white sand beaches, arid volcanic stone fields, and, and little flowing mountains and cliffs. And getting the history of the island from Enriqueta and from her family was such a gift as she's lived here for her entire life. She was never really educated. She became a shepherd at the age of seven, and yet now she's a successful business owner with a guest house, a restaurant, a car rental company, and more. She says that in her 77 years in La Graciosa, tending her flock of animals, she has stepped foot on every stone on the island. For me, being there was an escape from the constant activity of city life and work at home in Abu Dhabi. But even 7,000 kilometers away with a 50 year age gap, Enriqueta and I found so many similarities from the desert landscape to the presence of camels. We cooked together, we went on walks and were always laughing with each other. It was so much fun to connect with Enriqueta and her beautiful home that she aptly calls paradise. But it was also such a big honor to have eDreams there filming and recording these memories. I often say that when I look at a map, I see the face of everyone that I've met around the world throughout my journey to every country. I stay in contact with some of them, have photos of others, but most are only in my memories. To have a beautiful short film made about a new friendship is totally new, and I'm sure I'll look back on it forever. You should all check out the video that eDreams made. It'll be in a link below in the description. I'm